Paul Flores made a remote appearance in a Monterey County courtroom this afternoon. But first, we want to get you up to speed on how we got here. This is the investigation into the murder of Cal Poly student Kristen Smart. Smart went missing in San Luis Obispo in 1996 after attending an off-campus party. Her body has never been found. Paul Flores was the last person to be seen with her. Paul and his father Ruben Flores were arrested 25 years later. Last October, 46-year-old Paul Flores was convicted of killing Kristen Smart. A separate jury acquitted Paul's father of being an accessory after the fact. Flores is awaiting sentencing on first-degree murder charges, which is where we find anchor Richard Gearhart, who was in Salinas during the brief hearing and has an update on the case. This status hearing was actually scheduled by Superior Court Judge Jennifer O'Keefe when she granted the delay back in December. She has been very upfront with attorneys in this case that whatever post-conviction motions will be brought before her need to be ready to go by that scheduled sentencing date on March 10th. Following Paul Flores' conviction for the murder of Kristen Smart, his attorney Robert Sanger requested a sentencing delay in December so he could prepare and file a motion for a new trial. In his request, he noted that he had new information about the case, but didn't elaborate on what that was. He also told Judge O'Keefe back in December that he was waiting for transcripts from the trial to be completed. Judge O'Keefe granted that delay, but warned Sanger she would not delay the sentencing again and set the status hearing for February 9th to make sure both parties would be ready. Retired Santa Barbara County Judge Frank Ochoa appeared on behalf of Sanger during Thursday's hearing. He noted that the motion for a new trial still was not complete, but would be filed in time for sentencing. Sanger was not able to attend the hearing because of a conflict. Deputy DA Chris Pavrell told the court that he would strongly object to any delays and says the defense has had plenty of time to prepare any new motions. Judge O'Keefe said the sentencing date of March 10th would remain in place. She asked attorneys to review a new probation report that she described as lengthy and respond with any corrections. She also told the attorneys that the Smart family is expected to be in court during sentencing and that if any issues arise before then, to notify the court immediately. She again reminded everyone involved with this case that she would not entertain any further delays unless absolutely necessary. Victim impact statements are allowed during sentencing hearings, but the Smart family has made no indication of how they expect to address the court in March. In Salinas, Richard Gearhart, KSBY News. Paul Flores remains in custody at the San Luis Obispo County Jail while he awaits for sentencing.